You always look so relaxed. You just make it look so easy. You're like, I'm towing a camper, no big deal. That airstream is pulling out, careful. Yeah, I see. Maybe we'll have a road buddy. Maybe. Maybe they're going too big. To Lake Louisa? Test it out for Universal Studios? Maybe. because the campground's in between two lakes and neither of them are Lake Louisa. You would think that the sewage would be somewhere near the rest or usually in the back. It's all the way up here. What are you guys doing? Ah! Ah! Checking in. Keep going all the way down, all the way to the back loop, and it's gonna be a second uh, site on your left. Okay. Okay. Other than that, check us at one o'clock. You guys should be all set to go. All right. Awesome. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Right, have a nice one. You too. You too. Obviously, that's our black tank drain back there, or our drain. You would think that the sewage would be somewhere near the rest, or usually in the back. It's all the way up here. So we do have two stinky slinkies, but that's a long way. So if this is a 25 footer, we'll probably have to go twice. You can go over the pole? I guess I'll get him out and try it. Shower houses and dent before we leave. It's not the black tank that's the issue. That that doesn't fill up very quickly. It's when you shower and that gray tank fills up pretty quick. Yeah. But the shower houses are right there. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so Lake Louisa State Park is huge. It's ironic because the campground's in between two lakes and neither of them are Lake Louisa. He said from the ranger station down to the campground was three miles. So I'd assume this is probably two or three miles to the beach to use for swimming. But we're back here on the campground loop so we can walk our loop. And then on Google Maps, it shows some trails from us to the cabins. If you wanted to walk over there and check those out. Ooh. Or we can walk up the road to the other campground loops. Oh, I know it's so terrible. We're making you walk. Yeti? Okay, go. So here at Lake Louisa, you can rent campsites too that already have tents on them and actually have these luxury sites that are complete with an AC, a Keurig, bed linens, I don't know what all's in them. They're kind of like yurts, I guess you'd call them. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Forget the camper, let's do this next time. Look at this. This is cuter than our camper. This is super nice, actually. It smells good, too. Like, you smell, it yeah. smells good. I had no idea what to expect, uh -huh. really. So further towards the entrance, there are rustic tents. These are called not eco tents. Rustic. They're still not rustic. Well, I guess they come with linens and a bed, right? Yeah. She said. But it doesn't have like the electricity and the Keurig and the AC that the luxury ones do. Yeah, but. so not ideal for when it's really warm by any means. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking to save a little money or be a little more rustic, there's these eco tents. There's several of them out here, like I say, closer to the entrance of the park. For those of you that don't have RVs, you can glamp. And if the glamping's still a little too rustic, they also have like really nice cabins here too. Oh yeah, they have really nice cabins yeah. here.
What you doing? Oh, just researching. Ah, and fighting ants. Oh my goodness. Ants right. in Florida are real. What's the plan today? Um, laundry first. Mm, always. <laughs> So we're staying at Lake Louisa in Claremont, Florida. So this is one of the closest state parks to Universal Studios. We were fortunate enough to get to go to Disney, but if you have noticed, I am a Harry Potter fan, bit of a nerd. So I love Universal. So we're gonna try to go to Universal Studios today. It's about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the traffic from here. But right now they're doing a Mardi Gras celebration. So I am researching um, some food, some parades, all that stuff. I'm very excited. Is it time? It's that time, kid. And now for the real star of the show, to Universal! And now for the moment you've been waiting for. I've been waiting for. Haha, <laughs> I did bring it. Accio okay. Adventure. All right, let's go. So we're packing up here at Lake Louisa. We had a really good time, enjoyed going to Universal. I wanted to share with you guys something I learned or relearned on this trip, kind of coincidentally. So we recently defrosted the fridge, a joyous event. <laughs> if you guys have ever done it, it's not very fun. But everything was freezing, so we've got a lot of produce from farmer's market and stuff, and I was getting so frustrated because all of a sudden everything was freezing, and we turned our um like the little number down to three and in four years of RVing we've like never had it down to three and I couldn't figure it out shout out to my mom because I was just on the phone chit chatting with her and she was like maybe you bumped your like thermostat thing and I was like there's not one in there she's like well do you have the little wire and I was like yeah so the little wire that actually gauges the temperature had fallen to the bottom shelf so it was reading it that it wasn't as cold as it actually was so if you guys are having that issue after moving stuff around in your fridge, maybe check your little temperature wire because I had either forgotten that or needed to relearn it or whatever. So now we're back to the number four to five on the freezer and fridge setting and it's working perfectly. Ready to do this? Yeah, the slide's actually clean. Ooh, is that why the camper was shaking? Were you up on the roof? <laughs> Somehow, we're under a tree. That is strange. How would the slide be clean? Was it breezy yesterday? The RV gods are smiling down on us. You ready for this Florida tour to be over? I guess. For now. For now. We never know. It's already, <laughs> it's already 75 degrees. Yeah. It's that. not even 10 yet. <laughs> Remember like a month ago when we are like, oh, it's so cold. I hate the cold weather. Uh -huh. All right, can we go back inside? Why did we film outside? Whose idea was this? All right, we're all ready here. We do have to go to the dump station. Yeah. This site is really weird. It's, I don't know why the, the septic hookup is at the end of the drive here, but it is. So in order for me to dump, I would have to basically block the road and I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. So we have to go over to the dump station, not a huge deal, but you might just make a note of that. If you have a shorter camper than us, it's probably fine to stay in site 34, but ours doesn't really work out. Uh, nice campground. It was a good option for us to go to Universal. Yes. A little far of a drive. Definitely, depending on traffic, 45 minutes to an hour. It was still nice to be able to be in our camper, but you definitely have to plan ahead for that. I think it's a good combo too. You get this peace and quiet out here. You're yes. not cramped in an RV park close to Universal. I would recommend it, but definitely be prepared for the drive. 
Yeah, if I didn't mention that before, it's a three mile drive back to the campground, which means the traffic on the highway and stuff, you miss almost all of it. You get a little bit, but it's really quiet you considering road yeah, the road, road noise. noise. Yeah. Considering that you're right here in Claremont, it's really quiet. Yeah. All right, we're good then. I think we got everything done. Yeah. Go down. Inside, outside, dump yeah. station, and uh, we're off. So make sure you guys are following along with our adventure. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you liked this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>